So in this review we're looking at an MAN TGS truck and a Dole log carrier trailer and it's in the colours of Neuhauser, which is a German wood transport company. The model comes in a very good quality box with foam rubber inserts. So the model is protected well, but it can be a little bit tricky pulling it out. But Conrad models are always robust, so it's not too much of a worry getting the parts out of the foam rubber. This is a Conrad truck, so there are always mirrors and aerials to fit. And they are plastic parts which are attached to their moulding sprues. For the neatest job you can remove them using a sharp knife. Or if you want to act the tough guy, you can just pull the parts apart. This is a Conrad MAN model, so there's a little bit of pre-assembly to do on one of the mirrors. And it's easier to do that now rather than do it when the mirror is fitted to the door. Fitting the mirrors is easy enough, but just watch this oaf who's unable to even locate the mirror in the holes properly. Seriously, how hard is it really? Come on, get a move on and put the mirror in the door. At last, it looks like we've finally achieved that. So at least let's see if we can get the roof aerial in easily enough. And yes, it looks like our installation engineer has woken up a bit. The grab is just a snap fit attachment. And so it's easy enough just to clip it into place. And yes, even our man can seem to manage that. So that's the truck part of the model assembled. Let's now complete the vehicle assembly by attaching the trailer to the truck. And it is a little bit of a tight fit to get the eye of the drawbar into the towing hitch. But once you get it in, you then have a strong connection. For the last part of the assembly, we use the giant hand grab. And with that, we place a number of logs in the truck part of the model. And you guessed it, we repeat the action with the logs for the trailer. There is one more item provided which you could use to complete the assembly. And that's rubber straps which you can use to tie down the loads. They are a bit big though, so some people might prefer to display the model without the straps fitted. <laughs> Looking at the underside of the chassis, it's a typical Conrad model. There's detail with some of the parts modelled in plastic. The MAN cab is good and the graphics are nice, they're very small and sharp. Behind the cab, the log bunks are metal and robust. And there's a nice diamond plated walkway. The Palfinger Epsilon loader arm looks good with a metal boom and plastic extension parts. Moving on to the trailer and the underside is quite simple. Looking on top, the modelling standard is the same as on the truck. At the back there's a nice big doll sign on the mud flap, but it's a pity there's no realistic number plates. The last item to look at is the logs themselves and their real pieces of timber. Yes, it's nice to get a grip on a good stiff log. Firstly, we'll give the MAN a spin out on the Cranes Etc test track. And it rolls nicely because it's a decent heavy model. At the rear end there's movement in the axles to simulate some suspension. But where Conrad models always do well is in the steering. And here you can see what a sharp steering angle can be achieved. But not only does it pose well, but it actually rolls well in a very tight curve. The truck does feature a tilting cab, but it's a little bit limited in its movement. And although it can pose tilted, it's only at a shallow angle. Moving on swiftly to the functionality of the trailer. And that also rolls well enough, although it's not quite as free rolling as the truck. But again, the range of movement on the steering axle is very good. And that's matched by the movement of the drawbar up and down. But we can grab a little bit more functionality by looking at the grab. And firstly, the outriggers can be rotated if required. Although they can be posed rotated down because there's enough clearance. To set the outriggers, the beams are just pulled out on either side and then the pads can be lowered. They are just frictional pistons, so you just pull them out, and there's enough range of movement to get the pads on the ground. It looks okay, but these assemblies are all plastic, so the pistons are not silver. And although the plastic is quite flexible, it is at least tough, so the plastic won't snap off. One nice little feature on top of the grab is the driver's seat, and that folds down for operation, or you fold it to close it for transport. 
Anyway, now that the grab has our attention, let's open it up. And the boom cylinders are certainly stiff enough to hold any pose that you want to set. At the end of the boom, there are two telescopic sections. These are plastic, but they slide out easily enough. At the end of the boom, there is a metal grab, and the jaws have got decent stiffness and spread wide enough. That means when you offer up your log, the grab likes to hold it, and the weight of the log is taken easily. So what else can you do with the logs? Well, let's take a look. Well, firstly, you can lay them out, and that looks like a bit of a H, and it says hi, or hef, or, oh, he, he. No, it's hi. Oh, it's hell. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, wait, there's a little bit more. Helly. No, it's, oh, it's hell. No, it's helly again. What's this last bit? It's hell, hell I. Oh, Helen, Helen, no, Hella. What? Oh, it's hello. Let's try something else. Oh, this seems to be Guten. Oh, it's Guten Tag, which is good day in German. Let's go for some Chinese and it's Ni Hao, which is hello in Chinese, but really that's cheating because it's not using Chinese characters. So let's try this one, which is Mu, meaning wood. That's enough language lessons for today, so let's finish with something that everyone understands. <laughs> In summary, this is another nice Conrad truck model. It looks good in the colours of Neuhauser, and the addition of the realistic logs makes for a very good looking model. It's got some good functionality, so you can set up some interesting poses. And of course it's a nice strong robust model, which overall is highly recommended.